another YouTube demo, underscore 23 here, and welcome back to another episode of Leicester Reborn. In today's episode, we've got two massive games, a game against Bayern Munich, who are struggling in the Champions League phase, a team we beat at home, and then absolutely they killed us in the away leg to knock us out, and we obviously play Man United in the game, where it's first, the second, and we currently have a six-point gap at the top of the table. We are going to start with the league, um, only because we have yet to lose, of course. Our only draw this season has been against Sheffield United. We've been in the likes of Spurs, we've been in the likes of Wolves, Watford. But I will say, we haven't really played anyone massive of note apart from Liverpool, and we did beat them 5-1. Uh, with that as well, we're through to the Cabrera Cup uh, quarterfinal yet again, where I've got Manchester United, because we always play them in a cup competition. Obviously, if we make the semi-final, you guys will see that. As the Cabrera Cup is still a competition, we need to win in the same. With that being said, let's just go and recap some of the results since we, since we last met, which I believe our last game was obviously the 18-19 goals that we scored over two games between Milan and the 7-2 against Fulham. We beat Spurs 3-0 in the Cabrera Cup uh, with a rotated side. So beat Bournemouth before rotating its Anderlecht, and we needed a 92nd-minute goal from Mr. Belez to win us... the. We lost the game. He was arguably offside as well. The important thing about Bellas, though, is he has not stopped scoring. His last game in the league was the last time he hasn't scored a goal. Have a look at the consistency of him scoring. He scored in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He scored in 10 consecutive games in a row, including a couple off the bench. He has been fantastic. At the moment, he's got 11 and 11, 17 and 17. He's got three in the Cabaret Cup in three games. He's got three in the Champions League in three games. And he's got three in four appearances for Colombia in this new season. He is developing very well. We've currently got him on his anticipation, etc. And hopefully, it will continue. Outside of that, though, we won some more games through here as well. Nothing really to note. Kept some clean sheets after Anderlecht as well, which is always nice. Conceding 1-0 down to bottom place. Watford before coming back. Beat Stoke. And we just played Arsenal, who are down in 11th. They were season to date. We absolutely pumped them. And somehow, this game wasn't 4 or 5 nil. Instead, it was only 2, including a 91st-minute goal from Silva. Outside of that, Bayern Munich are struggling in the Champions League. They currently sit in 22nd. They've drawn against... Uh, they beat Red Star. They drew to Chelsea and they lost to Milan. It's not the easiest three games. But as you can see, they are holders of the Champions League. That is correct. Last season, after knocking us out and coming back after losing 2-0 down to win 4-1 at home, they went on to beat Arsenal and knock them out comfortably. They beat Liverpool over two legs, playing really well at home before beating Porto in the final convincingly 2-0. It's going to be a big episode this one. Hopefully we go and play well. We did beat them here last time. And the reason why this game is important is if we can beat Bayern, right? We can beat Bayern at home. This could put Bayern in a very precarious spot. And if we could somehow, somehow get Bayern to finish outside the 24, which I highly doubt, would be huge for our chance to win the Champions League. Now, I don't think we will, but I think we're close. Second thing I want to bring up before we play as well, before the retention goes away, is I am tempted to go a little bit against the grain of what we have been doing. We have such a good world-class front four. Um, we have a world-class right back. We've got some good kids. I'm thinking next year maybe I'll loan all the kids out so they get first-team football to get them to develop. But what I will do is buy, you know, Van Dyke's 35 and looks outrageously good still, right? Van Dyke is, you know, for instance, at Liverpool is still very good. We could pick him up for 14 mil. Harry Kane, for instance, could come in here at 14 mil and still looks outrageous. Um, you know, what I'm starting to say is that there is a lot of footballers coming to the end of their career. I could do what I did with Fulham in my stream tape for those watching on stream links down below. For us live, we're currently live. That I just signed all these guys at 33, 34 and rock the league. And that's my idea is get them all in, loan out my under 21 so they will get growth. Um, and then off we go. Speaking about growth as well, in terms of the loans, I do have to speak about Nesk, uh, Nesk, um Nekatarius Stavro, I'm going to call him Stavro, has been developing outrageously well. Look how well rounded he's becoming. He's fantastic. I'm very happy with that. And the other one is Chris Aspie, who you guys might have saw come through an intake a couple of years ago. Yeah, looking decent. Not, not too bad as well. He's doing an okay job. Let's get into this game, though. It's Bayern Munich at home. Obviously, if we win the Cabaret Cup and we hold on to win the league, I won't be signing any of these older players. But if we do throw it away again this year, I'm tempted to go out there and get the Van Dykes and the Harry Canes and whatever at their twilight career and just say, look, go score me goals. 
Velez and Kane were switching in and out of the team. Do what you need to do. Go go get me one more win. All right, Bayern Munich here with Scully on the ball playing at right back for them. Mudrik as well, who played against me last year. Howard Bells, I don't know who that is. Vidovic, we obviously know. And Goretzka with a ball over looking for Musiala. Melier will claim. Now, at home last year, we absolutely blitzed Bayern Munich. I highly doubt that's going to happen today because I think Bayern are going to be up for this knowing they need to get a result here. Melier in the Marsha. Good to love you. Need to find a pass. We have not found one pass at all. That should be a goal. They've hit the bar. At any point of that build-up, if you have a look at it, we've actually got options here with Thomas. Like, straight away, Lavia should be playing first time into this space. We're out. Like, we've killed the press there. Lavia just needs to play that ball through the corner into anywhere here, and we are out. That is really poor from Lavia. Um, but, yeah, happy with the build-out from the back. Not happy with the decision-making of Lavia there. Um, but we got away with it. It's nil-nil. Now, Velez is a big boy, and Elise looks for Velez, and he heads just over. I said that he hasn't really been winning headers, this season, out of nowhere, he's starting to jump. No realising that he is six foot seven, and if he jumps, no one's going to touch him. He's starting to score headers, boys. It is really fun to watch. Um, with that being said here, I'm happy to take a draw as well in this game. So if it keeps ticking, it would be nice. We obviously have a big game against United only in a few days' time, and this team played against Arsenal. So there's going to be a lot of wrecked boys at Old Trafford, you feel. Koble now looking for Kimmich into Goretzka. To run wins. Elise is with him. Elise now. Velez was on side. Hits the post. It comes out. He was offside. It wouldn't have counted. What a strike, though, from Velez. Unfortunately, still nil nil, and he was offside. Good good press, though, from us. Bit of arguably slightly the better team. You know, slightly a couple more shots on target, etc. I think they're playing sensationally well here, the lads. I don't know who we can rotate realistically against uh, Bayern. Um, and uh, keep fresh from United. And I don't know who we're going to rotate for the United game, but we'll work that out when we get there. Anyway, Harwood Bells. I need to have a look at him. Or Bellis. Anyway, good press to run win. Smith Rowe. Hassan's dangerous. Here he goes. He went for goal early. He hits the bar. I, I would have preferred him to run in a touch more, but uh, that close from a, a lead. Slightly more possession as well. Mudrik now with a ball in front stick. Cleared away. Only as far as Joey Cancelo, who has moved here from Man City on this game. Elise inside to Hassan. Velez made a run. Smith Rowe gets crunched by Dayo Upamancano. And Bayern come again. With a ball in the Scully. Smith Rowe with a good tackle. Falls back to Scully. A little bit lucky there for the uh, USA lad. Tamori wins. Tam Taram. Lavia. Need runners. Lavia now is looking at Thomas. Just play Thomas. And Hassan now needs to pull out into space. Thomas instead can whip. He gets to the byline. He does whip. Velez is there. Six foot seven Velez gets across his man, bodies him off, and that is a tap in. And we lead 1 0 against Bayern Munich. And yet again, we're beating one of the big boys in the Champions League at home. At home, we are unreal. Away from home, yeah. We're a bit like Adelaide Crows, uh, who just won in the showdown last night um, for your AFL watchers. Good at Adelaide Oval, can't play anywhere else. We're pretty much like that in the Champions League by the feels of it. With that being said, 60 minutes on the clock, we've had the better of the game. I do need to think about this game against United, which is the hard part. Uh, Lynch is going to come in, because why not? Smith Rose had a pretty good game. I'm going to get Fuller in as well, who, by the way, is looking good. I know the game he's telling me he has no potential. He is growing, and I do see this player becoming fantastic for us. Um, Luke Thomas looks dead, so I am going to bring in a James Justin. Well, I'm going to actually bring Marsha in. I'm actually going to bring Demaru in, actually. Not more. This is not a game for more. I do not want to wreck this 15-year-old's... Uh, Ability. Who, by the way, for those wondering, starting to develop. He just turned sixteen. He's starting to develop. Um, I'm going to go with that. Am I going to do anything else here? Sun's having a stinker. I might get Yaya in as well on the break. Actually, Garcia hasn't really played many minutes. I might get Garcia in, who's still one of our hot prospects. Obviously, this is the game in mind for Man United. I still believe that these boys will do the job, but there is a game in mind with Manchester United here. Now, Lavia is dead, and so is Tarum, and I'm actually going to make the two changes here. The may Oh, we can't. All right. Uh, I might go like that, and I actually might get Lavia on and take Tarum off. Apparently, the game doesn't want me to. All right. Do that, do that. Deep line playback on support. Drewsbury Hall's in. Lavia be the one to rest. And there we go. Gets a rid of a yellow card in the middle of the park. We've played really well here. Time is ticking. Bayern look dead. I am going to move into the 4-3-3 now. 
And we're going to move Bellas in as a target man. Just on support to get people in. Something like that, I think, is the go. And the main reason for this is I don't want to get hit on the break. And it also put us into a balance system. And we are in the mid block, which is good. All right. Can we hold on here? Be a big win for us. Time ticks. Five minutes out of time. And it's ticking away the time and the clock. Oh, we got to hold on here. Oh, of course we are. That is a clean sheet and a one new win against Bayern Munich. This just proves that this team is really good. Velez man of the match of another goal in the Champions League. He's fantastic. The back four played exceptionally well. Um, and yeah, we got a little bit of rest for most of the boys. I am going to rest them before this Manchester United game because it's so important. And another couple of mil. Um, just gonna, he complains all the time, the backup keeper. I just keep saying that to him and then he keeps being happy that he sits on the bench because he's a backup keeper. Like, he's already... Just every couple months we do that. Anyway, let's go in and rest the boys here. Um, training, rest two days and see who comes available. And fit. There's a few tired legs out there. We've got some legs out here that are not too bad as well. Let's go see what we can do. I'll see these guys at Manchester United at Old Trafford first versus second in a second. Guys, Old Trafford first versus theoretically second. You know, Chelsea just played the day before and won, so they've leapfrogged United by two points. Um, but yeah, look, we are four points clear of Chelsea with a game in hand. We're six points clear of United with this game being the game. Um, this is a big game to even just get a point in. Get a point in here, walk out of Old Trafford um, and see what happens. But yeah, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, this season, that is for sure. Liverpool starting the struggle as well. They've got a game in hand to get to 27. Um, but yeah, this is a big, big game. In terms of the team, Vela's not 100%, nor is Tomori. I'm going to bring Demiru in because he's not 100%. I don't like booking in... Um, I don't like booking in um, substitutions. Um, I also think Carter for Livramento could be an option here too. I might actually go Carter on for Thomas and maybe depending on how they feel... Um, I think everyone else is fair. I think Velez has to start with the form he's in, even though he's not 100%, and we'll bring Silva off the bench as well. To, outside of that, everyone else looks pretty good. Uh, Fuller and Moore, not 100%. I'm going to bring Justin in just in case then. Um, and, yeah, that's going to be the team. So, obviously, we know United very well. We've played them a lot down the years. Um, I do know De Gea has left finally, um, and unlike in real life, they've actually let Dean Henderson now be the number one. As well, I do think De Gea's left. Uh, I think he retired. Yeah, so Henderson's in there. First choice keeper now. Malasia, Todibo, Varane, Shaw, Casemiro. They signed Lucas Dyer, who generally grows into a very good midfielder, the Frenchman. Sane, Fernandes, Rafinha, Evan Nielsen up front. The 27-year-old Brazilian looks pretty good. On the bench, they got um, Alex Seawood, who I don't know who that is. Adam Everett, don't know who that is. Diogo de lot obviously, is Diogo de lot Torreira and Seibold. I know Victor Ossiman. Which makes me think he played in the Champions League. Still looks outrageous, doesn't he? Uh, Sancho is on the bench too. Lewis Jackson is a 21-year-old. That's Mare. And Selena is their backup keeper. So a bit of a weaker United side, it has to be said, than the last couple of years. That had the likes of, obviously, De Gea, Bobby, um, Eriksen in the hole. You know, it's a United side that's evolving now because of the age. But still very, very strong, obviously. Um, and we need to get at Casemiro, I think. If we can get a Casemiro and we get a Malassia, we might be okay. And Henderson isn't the greatest shot stopper. You know, he's not a De Gea. So we'll see what we can do. In the end, like I said, against Bayern Munich, if we can walk away with this with a point, I'd be over the moon if we could win even better. And we have a decent record against United. So let's see what happens here. I'll happily trade us winning this game for us losing in the Cabaret Cup quarterfinal as well because I will eventually win the Cabaret Cup at some stage. You do feel the league... Is always very difficult, and winning here would be a huge part of that, as Evan Nielsen forces a great save by Melier down to his left. Well done, does the world-class goalkeeper from France. The French number one does his job. Another ball in here from Rafinha, back stick to Debo's the target, Demiril heads away. He's a very good centre-back to have coming in for when people aren't fit, is Demiril, and this is the reason why I haven't sold him. I will eventually sell him for big money, but um, yeah, until we get that money, then yeah. Apparently there's a penalty. It's meant to be a pointless highlight because it's a save from the keeper and then there's a corner that's gone out of play. But of course, FM give him a penalty and that's going to be a turn opportunity for 1-0. Melier. 
Let's go, buddy. Melier up against Bruno Fernandes. He's world class. Melier denies him. A world class save again from Melier. He saved one from the start of the highlight, and he saves that one there. And that is going to be still nil nil. Fernandez misses. And Melier claims to end the highlight. What world class keeping from Melier. Big save. Huge. Nil nil. Thanks to our keeper. Luke Shaw's dead. Get it, Luke Shaw, boys. Let's see how we go. 41 minutes played. Raphael Varane looking for Sane into Bruno, into Evan Nilsson. Sane. Good ball to Bruno. Melier score. Melier does not save that one. That is a goal for Bruno. Melier, Bruno scores. Melier beat. And after a fantastic save and a couple of saves there, United find a moment. And uh, that's in the back of the net with one nil down. It's a good ball there from Sane. Melier maybe could do a bit better, but on FM that generally goes in a lot. So yeah. Half time one nil. We are gonna thrash our arms and tell us to start playing a little bit better, please. We have not really looked at it. It's only been two shots in this half. We have not really looked like going forward. Hopefully we eventually get at the races. Lavia. Carter. Into Marsha. To Rum. Lavia. Ball into Demaru. Good ball out there to Delisa. Yeah, United are definitely dominating, Digi. Luke Shaw, Varane, Lucas Donath, Casemiro, Gabuna Bruno, big switch of play. Just look a little bit lost out here today. Rafinha, oh, that's a big moment. Good block. Rafinha gets there, though. That's a bit cheesy. 2 0 down. I'm going to do it a bit early. I'm going to go 4 4 2 very, very early on. Gonna leave the personnel as it is. I'm going to leave Velas out there for another couple of minutes. I'm gonna give Velas another five minutes or so and see what happens. Hassan doing well. Smith Rowe to run these a hit. Doesn't. Livermento cuts it. Doesn't find his way. We go 4 4 2. We're gonna go for it here. I know it's early on, but I feel like something needs to change. United are dominating, let's be honest. Velas is about to come off here too because he's dead. The son would play up front even though I don't like him there. And yeah. Yeah, he's a baller. Elise no. Needs an option. Inside ball. Elise gets to the byline, cuts it, doesn't find its way. Diving header. And United are going to get away with that. Nothing going our way today. Ball over the top. Well done, Jose Marsha. Tarum's got options inside. Lovey has won. He bumps out there to Elise. Options queuing in the box. Another poor ball from Elise. Velez wins. Asan puts it wide. Would have been nice. No goal. Velez is dead. There's a few lads that are out there that are dead. Elise now needs an option back stick. We're going to make some personnel changes. Headed. Velez. It was actually Asan that headed in. It looked like Velez. They're both tall. Very lucky. And there it is. 2-1. The 4 4 2 has just provided a little bit of a, a different look to United. In the end, I thought it was Velas that headed it, but yeah, all right, we are going to make changes now, though. Um, Silver obviously in for the pace. Um, Tarum is dead, so Alex Scott is made for this. Elise is going to come off for Adam Lynch, who will go in like for like, and he's going to be more supportive in that role. Um, Lavia for Smith Rowe, I'm going to get Yaya out there, too, with a little bit of extra pace as well. Livermento is dead, so Carter out on that side and Luke Thomas on that side. Here we go. Five changes. Fresh legs. One goal down at Old Trafford. SPQR, good to see you, mate. How's things? Coming at a big moment. First versus second. Can we get something? Can we find another opportunity? Carter wins. Scott looking long. Silver's quick, but he won't get on that one. Henderson's feet. He bumps one long. Only as far as Demaril now. Needs options. Silver, Asan, oh, it's a big miss. He was offside anyway, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Maybe Silver should have gone himself. This 4 4 2 switch has been amazing, but we have not found it. Is there a moment for us? Malashia will throw. We man mark. Don't give him anything easy. Win the header and we go long. Malashia finds Sancho. Ball in. The lot. We squeeze. Good touch. Seaward. Oh, it's a killer. 
It's a killer. Not offside. That is a killer. Evan Nielsen's offside. He hasn't even played a good play. They've given it against Evan Nielsen. Wow, we get lucky. FM have given us a lifeline. No offside there at all. Young Seawood, one of their prospects, has done really well. 92 minutes, 93 minutes. Unfortunately, it's all she wrote. We lose our first game of the season to Man United. We lose 2-1. It's been a big run of games, though. We just played Arsenal, Bayern, and then United in nine days. So it's a massive run. I'm proud of the effort, boys, because you showed something second half, and that's all that we needed. We came back into it. We're going to lead the league by three points. United go just behind us. Um, it is what it is. To be fair, I feel like they were the better side there as well. So sometimes you just got to cop it. Um, it is the end of the episode. We did play pretty well in that 4 4 2. It's good that you guys finally saw it on YouTube because we haven't really used it too many times there, that 4 4 2. Thank you guys for watching another YouTube episode there. Give it a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Game of Legend comes in right at the end of the YouTube episode. So thank you for the raid. Do not worry, we are still staying live, of course. Uh, but that is the end of the episode. See you guys next time for another big one. Would have been nice. Fortunately, not the case. And the league goes back down to a three point gap.